Welcome back to Around Town with Lily. Today, I'm interviewing Liz, who co-owns Sweet Bay with her mother, Beth. Hello, Liz. Hi, Lily. So how did the idea for Sweet Bay start? Well, my mother started Sweet Bay before I was even thought of. Uh, so that was in the early 80s. And she had just had my brother, who's a couple years older than I am, and wanted to have an at-home business where she could be creative. So she actually started it in a closet in our apartment um, when we were younger. And she started doing dried, dried and fresh flowers for events. And that's how Sweet Bay was born. Was it hard to start her business? Oh, really hard. It's very hard. I think some of the hardest things about starting your own business is making people believe in it. You know, uh, that can be the most difficult part is making people understand your vision. Um, so that's always a challenge. But the other thing that people don't always remember when you start your own business is, for the most part, you work by yourself. So you're not with somebody to bounce ideas off of, saying, what do you think of this? Or can you help me with this project? It's a really one woman or one man operation. So I think that's one of the hardest things about starting your own business is being by yourself for the most part. How did she advertise her business? So when I was younger, my mother did a lot of craft fairs. And that, at the, that in, in the early 90s, I guess, I guess the church craft fair or the local school craft fair was what is Facebook or Instagram of today is a way to get your wares in front of people's eyes. Um, you know, what's wonderful about our community is it's tight knit and myself, my mother, my father, you know, we were all born and raised here in Wakefield. So after a while, people know who you are. So you do somebody's wedding and two years later, you're doing their sisters and word travels fast in a, in a small community. So as you said, you were raised in Wakefield. Why mm -hmm. was Lakefield the perfect location to start your business? One of the things that my mother Beth and I feel very strongly about is keeping our business here in our town. Like I said, um, you know, we were both born and raised here in town. I actually live with my husband and my two children in the house that my grandparents raised my father and his brothers and sisters in. Um, so we have a lot of ties to the community. And we feel very passionately about infusing our downtown economy with action and things to do and browsing stores, it should be a happening place and it's very important to us to keep our business and our home here in our town. Do you have any other locations? We do. So we have our shop on Main Street, which people are most familiar with. Um, however, in November, we actually opened a second location right around the corner in Albion Street. It's about 50 steps away from our Main Street location. So we're calling that shop Sweet Bay Home. Um, we would love to have them both combined together. But for now, the two uh, operate well independently of each other. So Sweet Bay Home is more home interior items, decor, also furniture, um, things for your kitchen, like specialty food items and platters and other things you might need for entertaining. While our first shop on Main Street focuses more on small gifts and jewelry and women's accessories. Um, so both the shops complement each other well, and it's a great experience for our customers to enjoy browsing both. What hours are those stores open? Sure, so our Main Street shop is open seven days a week. So we're open on Sunday from 12 to five and Monday through Saturday from 10 to six. And we're actually thrilled to be welcoming our back, our favorite WHS senior to be open on Friday evenings for us. So starting in April, we'll be open on Friday until eight o'clock. So if you're downtown enjoying our restaurants, you can come shopping while you wait for a table. Um, and our shop on Albion Street is open those same times, 10 to 4, just a little bit more limited. What's the main purpose of Sweet Bay? The main purpose of Sweet Bay is to give people a place to f look at something beautiful and to feel beautiful, to feel inspired. So many people that come into our shop on a daily basis say, this is my happy place. It's our happy place. And that's what we want to give back to our community is we want people to go to a place that brings them joy and peace. Um, and we're proud and happy to do that. What do you think Sweet Bay brings most joy to? Who do I think Sweet Bay brings most joy to? Mm, that's a great question. I would hope that it's our community. Um, we, the feedback from our clients is that they're so happy that we're here. My mother actually opened Sweet Bay in the same location we're in now about 15 years ago and then went off to a different venture and reopened this location again three years ago. 
Um, so when we first opened, reopened, people were just thrilled that we were back. And I think it restores the pride that our community has in our downtown. And we are trying our best. You know, we work hand in hand with Wakefield Main Streets, with our merchants, to really bring that attention that our downtown deserves. So as you mentioned earlier, Sweet Bay sells some women's products and stuff. So what's the most important thing that your store sells that you think? The most important thing, I'm going to go right back to it, might not be something that you can touch and feel, but it's happiness and pride. And I think that's something that you can't put a price on. Where do you get most of your items from? So a lot of our items, we have certain companies that we work with, just like any of the big box stores, um, you know, like a Macy's or Anthropology or J. Crew. They have certain designer labels, if you will, that produce their goods. So we will go to these home and gift shows and find new and exciting companies to work with. Whenever we can, we'll shop locally. Um, so for example, I have some wonderful honey um, and really beautiful maple syrup and also some greeting cards that are made here in our community. Um, so whenever we can, and it makes sense for us and our clients, we'll, we'll bring in some local products, but we're always looking for new and exciting things. How many employees do you have? We have currently 10 employees, which sounds like a lot, um, but our employees are our team, they're our family, and they help make the dream work. So my mother Beth and I both are working constantly, whether we're at the shop or at home, but we have a wonderful team of mostly moms that work school hours or weekends, teenagers, evening hours to patch and put that puzzle piece together to make sure that we can keep Sweet Bay open as long as possible. What did you look for when you were hiring them? What we look for, for hi when hiring people is friendliness. Is that when you leave a conversation with that person, did you feel like they paid attention to you, that you were their number one priority? Um, you, we always strive to bring in people into our Sweet Bay family that can make a connection. So, and that's what keeps people back, bring, bringing them back into retail is everybody can go online and point and click on Amazon or wherever and have something arrive at their doorstep, but it takes a special relationship to make somebody wanna get in their car, walk downtown, find a place to park, and come in our doorstep and see us every day. And it's our people that make that happen. Who typically shops at your store? Everybody. Everybody shops at our store, so most on a daily basis, it's most often. We have a core group of moms that have just dropped their kids off from school and need to pick up a gift for a girlfriend. Um, we also have a lot of grandmothers that are coming in and buying a special gift for themselves. Um, one of the, my favorite times is half days on Wednesdays. We have, I, I, between us and Cravings next door, I think most of the teenage population of Wakefield yeah. <laughs> <laughs> comes into our shop to see what's new for jewelry or bags or scarves or just to see the pretty things. But I love, love, love what happens on those Wednesdays where I have these young girls coming up and they're buying something that doesn't seem like something yeah. a young girl would want. And we often hear this is for my mom. You know, and I wish that all the moms and dads could kind of be flies on the wall of the conversations that happen in the shop because they're really sweet. What advice do you have for someone who wants to start a small business? I would s share with somebody that they need to stick true to their vision and listen to themselves. Small business is really based on the talent of that individual person. Um, so I think you really need to be con concise and clear about your mission, have a mission statement, write it down, keep notes. Whenever you're posed with a new challenge or, or question, keep coming back to that vision, keep coming back to that mission, and that will ground you in what you're trying to pursue. Well, thank you for coming today. You're so welcome, Lily. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching this episode of Around Town with Lily, and I hope to see you next time.